Hey, I'm Liv from Liv Style Rewind, and this is my space where I talk about sometimes thrifting secondhand clothing, sometimes vintage style, sometimes personal style, um, sometimes I just talk about my feelings, and sometimes I randomly sing when the opportunity arises. Um, I'm also a big movie fan. I love horror movies and all kinds of movies. And um, yeah, that's kind of the general me. So I want to talk about eBay a little bit because I just started selling on there. Well, kind of. Um, I sold a couple items on there several years ago and just kind of like never added anything else because it always scared me being a Poshmark seller who like doesn't have to worry about calculating shipping or anything like that. Um, I've always been like a low volume seller that's like a sometime reseller. I'm not part time, I'm not full time, I'm a sometime reseller. Um, I would like that to increase. I would like to kind of like grow, but things have just been kind of crazy personally, mentally, you know, and uh, it's starting to get better. So yeah, I mean, it's starting to get better, but it's also like, you know, I'm running out of savings and I have to actually start making more money because <laughs> rent and such, because you have to make money in order to live in this world on this planet <gasps> where am I going I didn't mean to get into like existential dread but um basically I just need to start making more money and I haven't really been on Poshmark much in the past this year yet um yeah it seems to be kind of all over the place for people they're going through changes and stuff and I just know it's time, it's time to start eBay. It really is. I really also want to learn Depop, but that's scary too, because I'm like, at least with eBay, you just have to put in the weight and then they can calculate shipping if you just put what you're gonna send it in. But with Depop, not that I've even looked it up yet, but I see sellers that are like $5 ship per item or like free shipping or um, I don't know, like, if anyone sells on Depop or other sites where they decide on their shipping, what do you do? Do you do like a flat I flat fee per item, like $4 an item if it's small things that you sell, or like $6 an item, or $8 plus four each edition? I don't know, like what do you do? Because I don't know what to do, but um, I feel like I have some things that would go well on Depop that would like sell pretty well on there so I need some assistance <laughs> with that but um I know I should just look up videos but I don't know I want people's like personal experience with what they've done anyway I started eBay about two weeks ago and I'm going like very slow and steady um I don't want to set like too large of like goals and be like ah I didn't make my daily goal and then like you know be down on myself and stuff so instead I'm just doing I was doing four a day but you know life gets in the way and I missed a couple days and then I tried to make it up a couple days and it was just like Ugh. so I'm gonna try and stick to three at least three listings every day and um, I'm going to utilize like the drafts on eBay. So once I get three things listed for that day, I'm just going to start kind of banking up drafts when I have time to, to do some listings. Um, yeah, so I'd say it's going okay. I, I have 31 items for sale on there right now. I've been on there two weeks and uh, I've sold four things. Which I, I guess is pretty good considering I only had two feedback. So like, I don't know. I feel like people prefer buying from, you know, veteran seasoned sellers that have like a lot of good feedback. So um, 
I don't know, it's almost like you're taking a chance with me, even though like I have sold a ton of items on other sites. I even put that in all my little descriptions for eBay so far, like, I'm new to eBay, but I've sold 750 plus items on other retail resale sites. So I have experience, like, please buy from me. Um, so yeah. I don't know. I guess it's going okay. I'm trying to look at what I sold. Okay, the first thing I sold was a um, Gimmicks by BKE, which is like a buckle mall brand. Like, kind of expensive mall brand in my opinion. Um, expensive retail, but resale, eh. But, um, I came across these tank tops that were super cute at a garage sale last summer, or last spring with my mom. And I was not finding anything that day. Like, we had been to four or five sales. I wasn't finding anything. We went to the sale, and this girl had all of this cute clothing. Like, just their garage was just, like, full of tables full of clothes. The only problem was, like, it was kind of pricey. I mean, it was price reasonable if you're going to, like, keep it. But if you're going to sell it, it wasn't great. And, like, everything was a small or an extra small. So... I prefer larger sizes, I prefer wearing larger sizes, I prefer selling larger sizes, and so I looked through everything to see if there was anything that I like had to have, and there were these three gimmicks uh, tank tops just in like, this one that I sold was like gray color block, it had like lace embellishment, and like it was kind of like, I described it as like mixed media because it was like these different materials and like had a floral pattern up at the collar. If I can figure out how to insert a picture somewhere around here, maybe we'll see. Um, I'll give you an idea, but I paid $5 for it, which isn't great. I probably wouldn't do that again. I probably wouldn't pay more than like $3 for it. But, um, I, it was on there for like a few days and it sold for 19, it sold for 19 plus shipping. So, um, I don't know what that gives me after fees, like it's getting deposited into my account, but I'm like, I, I don't know if there's like a certain fee that eBay takes from each item or if it like just depends on the amount that it sells for or I don't know. I'm still new to eBay, but like... Maybe you're new to eBay and we're just kind of going along together, learning as we go, or maybe you have been on eBay for a long time and you're like, what is this person talking about? Um, this is how much the fee is, you silly goose. It's actually 15.2%. How did you not know that? Everyone knows. I don't know. Maybe it's like 17, 18, I don't know. I don't know. But I sold it for 20, bought it for five. I'd say that's a win, especially because I'm new to eBay and I want to like start racking up sales to look like a more legit seller because I am, but I'm new. Um, the second thing was a Tommy Hilfiger shorts. They, they weren't like vintage 90s or anything cool like that. They were just little like mini shorts. They were red, like a muted red with white little pinstripes. And they were kind of sailor shorts because they had these like big white buttons. They had pockets and then like big white buttons decorated around the pockets. So they were like very nautical and sailor and cute and like kind of pin up y. They weren't high waisted, but they were like mid rise. And I got them for myself just to see because they were, I think they were size 18. And I tried them and I didn't love them. So they were listed on Poshmark forever. Well, like a year, I guess, and got some attention, but not much. I'm probably asking too much for them, but I thought they were really cute. So they sold on eBay for $22.99 plus the buyer paid for shipping, which is like so surprising. I priced things a little high to allow for offers because a lot of people want a deal. So like I'm kind of always in my head expecting to sell things for like 20 to 30 percent less than I price them for so when people just buy it out for what I price it for it's like whoa you're awesome I love you um hopefully they like it they haven't gotten it yet you know only the first person that's gotten theirs so far uh 
Ooh. I got those at a thrift store when I went to my hometown probably about a year ago, maybe a little less last summer. Um, my brother is also a seller on eBay. He resells. So is my mom. It's kind of like a family thing. It's all in the family. <laughs> um, but uh, he goes to this thrift store like all the time and I always go, well I always try to go when I visit and they have pretty good uh, prices on things, decent brands, and I found those Tommy shorts there. I think they were only like three dollars. So having them sell for like 23 bucks, that's cool. I'll take it. Um, the third item was, it was this Umji, uh, floral, like really teeny mini floral. Um, I never know whether to call it a tunic or a mini dress if it's like that length. It's like obviously above your knees, but it's like around, it could be a long top or it could be a really short dress, depending. So I always put like tunic slash mini dress, just because I don't know. Um, I don't know if it, one of them sells better than the other. I feel like maybe dresses might sell for a little bit more, but it's like the same amount of material, so it's hard to tell. Anyway, it was like lace, embellished, tans, and like neutrals, browns, and um, I think it had like a cutout back and a little like button at the neck and a little ruffle. It was really cute. It wasn't like worth that much, but I picked it up years ago, probably two or three years ago in Detroit, and I think it was one of those things where I wasn't finding much, and I was like, this is cute. So I grabbed it. It was probably five dollars around there and I wouldn't pay that I wouldn't pay that much for this thing now I'd probably pay like one to two to three dollars tops but um it's sold for 20 plus the buyer paid shipping and I'm happy that it's gone it's cute but I had it in my Poshmark for several years so I'm happy that it's gone and then the last thing something that I actually had in the background of one of my videos early on, I think like my second video. Um, so if I can't insert a picture, I can maybe pop it up somewhere. We'll figure this out. It'll be fine. Um, but it was my Nintendo World Championships 1990 vintage t-shirt. Technically it's vintage, but it wasn't from 1990 like a tiny little date at the bottom that was 2002 so technically it's like just vintage which is crazy to me that vintage is 20 years old that doesn't seem old enough but I guess I'm way past vintage now so um like personally me being well over 20 years so that's kind of weird I'm vintage but um I like that it said 1990 I was born like right literally 10 days before 1990, the tail end of 89, so I'm a 90s baby, um, and I wore it a lot, it was like an XL, which I love, vintage shirts in larger sizes, awesome to sell, to wear, love it, there are a lot of larger people out there, like me, and we need shirts too, um, but they sell, I think they sell for higher too, so because there's like less out there and higher demand and that's how it works right supply and demand econ what are we in high school um no but it had like mario and link and some things on it i really liked it i didn't wear it that much i have like 500 t-shirts so i decided to sell it but i marked it really high just to see because the comps, I've been looking at comps for everything, like looking at solds, what's out there, what's available, and these ranged anywhere from like, some of them were listed for like 89, some of them were listed for like 29, I'm like, what the heck, I don't know, mine's in like okay condition, there was some cracking in the um, graphic, but it looked okay, it looked fine, it was still like pretty bright. And so 
I listed it for 69 just to see what would happen. And I think after like a week, week and a half, um, someone offered 30 and I thought about it and I was like, yeah, there are some listed on here around 30. So why not? I only paid a dollar for it. Um, I got it from this really cool, like small little thrift in Lansing when I lived there. So this was five years ago, four years ago, like a while, but I haven't had it listed that long. I've only had it listed like a year, maybe two, somewhere around there. Uh, cause I wore it a lot. So I kind of bought it for myself for a dollar and then decided I have enough t-shirts. And so 30 bucks, I know I didn't earn a thirty dollars. I probably earned like twenty four. I don't know. What are eBay's fees? What's going on? Tell me about Depop. Tell me if you are an eBay veteran or if you've never sold on eBay. If we're in the same boat, and tell me if Poshmark is still doing good for you. I don't think I'm going to put much time into it right now. I think I'm going to try and focus on eBay and grow that because that seems to be where the money and the customers are. So that's what I'm going to go with. Um, I talked about selling on Instagram, but I have like no following on there. So I don't know if it's worth it. Like I would like to have my own little curated Instagram shop page, but like my posts on there get like one to two likes from people that I know in real life that are probably like, oh, poor thing, she just needs a like. And it's like, thank you, I love you, but where are the people? Where are my people on Instagram? I don't think Instagram is for me anymore. I don't know, I'm not sure, we'll see. These are all of my thoughts. And I thought I was going to talk about other things, but that's everything I wrote down, so yeah. I'm just gonna keep plugging along, do my three a day, and when I get start getting more sales, like daily sales or like weekly sales, I'll do updates for like what's selling and stuff. But that's what's selling so far, like summer stuff, all summery, cutesy um, stuff, and then like a vintage men's tee. So yeah, I got this off Poshmark a while back and I love it. Beetlejuice is awesome. 80s classic. 80s? I want to say it's like 88 maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Um, take care. And always remember to be kind and rewind. Bye.